the latest on October 11th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Just one system active yet again, Typhoon Hagabis, still a Category 4, heading for Japan today. It's day 284 of the year so far. We've seen 70 storms around the world to date. In the Atlantic, it's day 132 of hurricane season. Both of those two invests have now disappeared. A 20% chance for that one off the coast of the US. Day 149 in the Eastern Pacific. There is a system there, hasn't yet been tagged as an invest. High chance of development in the next five days. Typhoon Hagabis is headed for Japan. Invest 95W has formed well towards the east out at sea. No systems active in the southern hemisphere at this time. It's all quiet here. So of course the top story again is Typhoon Hagabis. We're giving it 130 miles per hour and a pressure of 927 millibars. That's our estimate at this point. 250 miles from Agasawara. 27.4 uh, north, 138.1 degrees east. The storm is expected to weaken, could be about to weaken drastically, let's hope so. It, it was still likely to strike the Tokyo region, possibly as a significant typhoon, could still have potentially 100 mile per hour winds when it strikes that area. The whole of eastern and central Japan will also most likely see tropical storm conditions extending as far west even as Kyushu. Here's the storm at the moment, wind shear is starting to rise, that's been something that we've been noting for the course of today, the last 24 hours really, uh, wind shear will continue to rise more steeply by the time we get through the next 24 hours. The North Atlantic, wide shot, looks like this. Uh, things looking fairly quiet now, calming down. Of course, we can't rule out late season development as we get further into the uh, fall months and we're looking more towards the Caribbean region now. There's some disturbed weather going on there, not far from uh, Honduras and Nicaragua, uh, but also this is what the Gulf of Mexico is looking like. Rather quiet, not much going on here. A few thunderstorms over the Yucatan. The Eastern Pacific is looking fairly quiet at this point, although looking further east there is more disturbed weather on the way, and the National Hurricane Center gives an 80% chance that a system develops in the Eastern Pacific in the next five days, 50% in the next 48 hours. Hawaii might be getting a little bit of wet weather today, uh, but general picture is fairly quiet. Here's the Western Pacific. You can see just how massive Hagabis is, with a wind field extending out towards 300 nautical miles in most directions, actually. Towards its north, you can see a massive rain shield towards the north there, which will be striking Japan very soon, imminently indeed. The main part of the storm will only arrive late Saturday. Uh, early Saturday I should say. The Australian region and South Pacific looking like this, fairly quiet here, a few flare-ups occurring in the usual spots. The Indian Ocean is very much the same as well, looks a little bit quieter than it was yesterday, particularly further north, further south though you've got a few flare-ups that have occurred over the last few hours there, mainly over central India, further south a few little disturbances. Sea surface temperatures off the western coast of Mexico around 30 degrees Celsius still. Uh, the Atlantic, Gulf of Mexico starting to cool a little bit more. Western Caribbean is the hot spot, 30 degrees plus. Still, the open Atlantic, north of the Lesser Antilles, is still fairly warm, very warm even. 28, 29 degrees would support another tropical cyclone there, provided other factors are in play. The Indian Ocean, a warm pocket now in the Bay of Bengal, 30 degrees there. And you can already see a bit of a cold trail in the wake of Hagabis there falling below 28 degrees near the Mariana Islands, but where the storm is right now, we're still around 28. But that is one thing that will mean that this storm weakens quite dramatically over the next 48 to 72 hours. We hope so, at least. It could still defy what, what might happen, but sea surface temperatures will drop off a cliff pretty soon, just before it strikes Japan. Wind shear will probably rise just before that in the next 24 hours, and that is really what will cause this storm to deteriorate. It is already starting to look very flaky on satellite imagery, so the eye may be about to collapse in the next few hours. We'll see. The next name on the Atlantic naming list is Melissa. In the Eastern Pacific, we're still awaiting Octave. In the Central Pacific, the next name on list one is Ima. 
Over in the Western Pacific, of course, the next name on the list when Hagibis is gone will be Neoguri. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name on list 8 is Kiyar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name and you can mention us and chat to us on there as well. That's all for now, we'll have another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.